Sunday, September 8th in the year of 2013. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's football season. Official. I know we had a game on Thursday, but this is the real deal. Holy feel of football. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. New England Patriots, they go on to play the Buffalo Bills. And right after this here show is done. And uh, what you hear, yes, Star Trek, that's right. On this day, September 8th, in the year of our Lord, 1966, Star Trek officially hit the air. And uh, Star Trek, the original series, premiered with the episode The Man Trap. Oh, some women are known as The Man Trap. And then, seven years later, September 8th, 1973, 40 years ago today, Star Trek, the animated series, premiered with the episode Beyond the Farthest Star. There you go, Alexander Courage, Star Trek, the theme, what the hell, gotta go with it. <coughs> Besides, my, it's my love goddess's birthday, hell yeah, I love my love goddess, I gotta spoil the hell out of her. She's a big Star Trek fan, and uh, how fitting that the show came out 11 years to the day she was born. Today's show is brought to you by my good friend Tony the Tip Bronca, the owner, proprietor, CEO of Tower Decals. Folks, this guy has got an incredible business going. He had no idea it was going to blow up the way it has. Tower Decals, you want little decals, stuff like that. I'll tell you, this guy is phenomenal. Anything and everything, he'll, he'll make it for you, okay? Tony the Tip Bronca, phenomenal business, phenomenal guy. I worked with a jolly old England badass, bubble chase, the son of a gun. He's living in Florida. Great guy from Maryland and a true huh, Baltimore Ravens fan. Who got their dick stomped by the Denver Broncos on Thursday? Love you, Tony, but I had to throw that out there. All right, folks, I'm parched. And if you're going to watch New England Patriots football, you better do it with the Sam Adams Oktoberfest 5.3% of absolute pure exquisite, unadulterated, absolute wicked awesomeness out of Boston, Massachusetts. The best city in the world, no doubt about it. So we gotta have a proper beer consumption apparatus for Gospel Sunday, of course. Football Sunday. There you go. Proper beer opening apparatus, proper technique. Here we go. Voila. I'm trying to burn through this show wicked fast. 45 degree angle, right into the beer consumption apparatus, right over the keyboard, because I'm just that damn good. Haven't spilled a drop yet, never have, never will. Oh, I'm pumped up today, folks. I mean, I don't need I don't need speed or anything like that or those energy boosters. I'm naturally high, baby. Naturally high in this football. And I'm, and I'm emotionally erect right now. <laughs> ah, cheers and beers to all you pros, as they say in Germany. Goodbye, as they say in Japan. Alrighty. With that said, ah, look at that. Oh, Sam Adams. Impact. New Zealand. Gold. 2008. Alrighty. Birthday time. As I show off, ha ha! Oh, I'm ready to rock, baby. Ready to rock. New England Patriots, you know it. America's team. I don't care what anybody says. This is America's team. Without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an America, period. That end of freaking story. Okay? So there you go. All right. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. And we're going to get. Um, I want a Super Bowl 48 video. I got 36, I got 38, and I got 39, okay? I want 48. Patriots need to win another Super Bowl. Tom Brady needs his fourth ring so he can have more rings than all the Mannings put together. That man right there. And that is an upper deck graded original rookie card number 24 out of 1,435. Oh, 1325, excuse me. I bought that for $2 in Guam in 2001. He was a nobody back then. $2. Worth over 100 now. All right, my love goddess, happy birthday. I love you, baby beans. Ah, oh, we're going to make it a wicked awesome day. And, uh... To my love goddess, I salute. I can't say enough great things about her, folks. She is finer than a new set of snow tires. I am totally spoiled. Unbelievable. I have definitely married the best woman in the world. No question about it. Ah. All right. Love you, baby. She probably won't watch, but I'm going to give her some love anyway. And then my man, Jeff Fontaine. Badass. I worked with a jolly old California, the land of fruits and nuts, better known as Southern Oregon, uh, the pride of Spring, West Spring, Springfield, Massachusetts, Agawam. Hey, this guy is phenomenal. Him and his wonderful better half, Maria, the ageless wonder goddess that she is. Jeff, happy birthday to you, and I know Maria is going to spoil the hell out of you. 
and uh, your beautiful family. They'll spoil you too. Jeff, how you doing? Always a pleasure chatting with you, man. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Cheers and beers to you. Coach Herman. Don Herman. Head coach of Martha's Vineyard Vineyarders football team for the last 25 years. Phenomenal head coach. Awesome guy. Coach, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Happy birthday to you, my man. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy and a big hearty cheers and beers to you. Hope you enjoy the show. The lovely Christy Castle, a sweetheart of a lady I know from jolly old England. She worked in a store in England. Wonderful lady, wonderful smile, just ultra cool. Big Mafia Wars fan. We've been playing Mafia Wars since the beginning of time. And Christy, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy and a big cheers of beers to you. Hope you enjoy the show. Ah, my man Fred Nadish. Ha <laughs> ha, happy birthday to you. I know when your real birthday is, but that's okay. Well, we'll celebrate it today. Why not? Because it's a great day to celebrate. Hey, besides, you want to be tied in with my wife's birthday, right? Eh, it's the way to go. Well, Fred, I know from good old uh, Martha's Vineyard Island. Phenomenal guy. Happy birthday, brother. Hope you're doing well. I've known Fred a long damn time. And Fred, you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Big hearty cheers and beers to you. Enjoy the show, my man. Uh, Jonathan Pexson, a recent addition to Mafia Wars. Haven't talked to you yet, but uh, hopefully you'll watch the show and you'll understand that I'm just a natural goofball, enjoy life. And uh, Jonathan, happy birthday to you, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the show. Cheers and beers to you. We'll watch some schmucks and schmuckettes on the old Mafia Wars later on. How about that, huh? Hell yeah. And then a milestone birthday to, to the lovely Jessica Bishop. She flies airplanes for a living. If that ain't awesome, <laughs> I don't know what is. Yeah, I know, folks. This thing is bent. I don't know what to do about it, okay? Well, hey, it gets out of my way so I can drink my beer. Uh, Jessica, happy birthday. Happy milestone birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I know her from jolly old England. She's from Massachusetts, the greatest state in the nation. Without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an America. Period. Uh, end of freaking story. But, hey. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Hope you celebrate well with a uh, Sammy. And uh, go Patriots. Hell yeah, yeah! And go Red Sox. We'll get to that in just a moment. Cheers and beers to you. At this time, I'd love to give a shout out to a couple good Yankee fan friends of mine. My man CJ Clements. And my man Jason Ayala. Now these guys are wicked hardcore New York Yankee fans. CJ is also a Dallas Cowboys fan. Jay's a... Uh, New York Giants fan for football. Um, CJ's a uh, Miami LeBron's fan. Ugh. But, CJ, I'm proud to announce, and I'm going to mention it right on the air. See, folks, pretty soon CJ's going to be wearing Red Sox colors on his Facebook page for a week straight. Okay? See, we made a bet a long time ago. <coughs> Squeeze me. The bet is... Um, whoever had the winning season series record between the Red Sox and the Yankees at the end of the 2013 season, the loser would have to wear the colors of the other fans' teams on their Facebook page for a week straight. The Red Sox have a 10-win, 5-loss record against the Yankees in 15 games a season. There's only four games left. In fact, if the Red Sox win today, they will have giving the Yankees a faux game sweep. And if that ain't awesome, I don't know what is. CJ, I'm so looking forward to seeing the uh, Red Sox colors on your page. That is going to look gorgeous. I can't wait to show it off to the world that you're, a Yan uh, that you're a former Yankees fan and now a Red Sox fan. CJ, I know you're a man of your word, and I know you'll honor the bet, and I can't wait to see it soon. So, And Jay, I give you some love, man, because... <laughs> You're going to love those pictures. You're going to love that page. It's going to be wicked awesome. So, yeah. Go Red Sox, Yankees. <laughs> ha! All right. I know, Jay. 27. Gotcha, man. We'll get you someday. Now, hopefully, I'm alive to see it. I don't know. But CJ and Jay, you guys are phenomenal guys. No doubt about it. And uh, cheers the beers to the two of you. All righty. With that said, 
I do believe it's time to bring out some celebrity birthdays. And I think it's time to show off today's hunk of the day. Hey, Packer fans. Like our good friend Jennifer Connelly, the uh, recent um, babe of the day. Our good friend Becca Manning. Our good friend Chad Mansky. Some really good Packer fans out there. And uh, look who we got for you today. That's right, number 12, Aaron Rodgers. A legend of a quarterback indeed. This guy is phenomenal. Hunk of the day. For beer and song of the day. September 8th. In the year of our Lord, 2013. There you go. Aaron Rodgers. Hell of a quarterback. I like this guy. I really do. I think he's a class act all the way. Um, other birthdays. We got Wiz Khalifa. Um, modern rapper. 26 years old today. Pretty damn good talent too. Famous for the song Black and Yellow, of course. Um, Martin Freeman. Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit. Ironically, Leonard Nimoy did a song called Bilbo Baggins back in the 60s. Leonard Nimoy of Star Trek, of course. Um, but Martin Freeman is 42 years old today. Hey, Jeff Fontaine, how about that, huh? Some famous people that share your birthday. Like the gorgeous, wicked, awesome, succulent, sexy Brooke Burke. She is 42, and she is gorgeous. And I don't know why I didn't have her as Babe of the Day, but I got another birthday babe for Babe of the Day. And uh, my wife's a fan of her, so I think it's only fitting that we go with it. Roll that beautiful bean footage in a moment. Uh, the late, great Patsy Klein, former babe of the day, I might add, born on this day, September 8th, in the year of our Lord, 1932, sadly passed away in a plane crash in 1963 with Hawkshaw Hawkins and Cowboy Copas. Ah, oh, just awful, awful, awful. Terrible loss. Um, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, how about that one? That's right, the... The middleman from uh, Home Improvement, Tool Time, stuff like that. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, this is going to make you feel old. He's 32 today. How about another one that's 42 years old today? David Arquette. There you go. Yeah, there's Aaron Rodgers. Oh, Got to be a reverse negative because he's a... Uh... Oh, no. Never mind. It shows up reversed on my camera. Ha! <laughs> All right, yeah, 42 years old. How about the late, great Peter Sellers? Ah, yes, famous for the Revenge of the Pink Panther, 1964. Phenomenal comedian, born on this day in 1925. Sadly, passed away much too young in 1980. The legend that is Sid Caesar, comedian, badass, 91 years old today. Sid Caesar, a love doctor, salute to you. Happy birthday. Uh, Lorenz Tate, 38, doing great. Phenomenal actor. Ah, uh, Raven. Quote the Raven. Ah, yes, ECW wrestling legend, Raven. I've never been a big fan of the guy, but it is what it is. He's a hell of a champion. you got to give him that. Uh, he's 49 years old today. Uh, blues badass guitar shorty. He is 74 years old today. How about Mo Cheeks? Maurice Cheeks? That's right. Guard for the 76ers back in the glory days. Uh, he is 57 years old. And remember Heather Thomas? That's right, the babe on the fall guy with Lee Majors. Heather Thomas is 56 years old today. Uh, the douchebag that is Latrell Sprewell. I never liked that guy. I always thought he was kind of a thug. Hell of a basketball player, though. 43 years old today, Latrell Sprewell. Famous number eight. And then a guy that wore number 20 long before Barry the Man Sanders did. Uh, Lem Barney. Hall of Fame cornerback, CB, you know, defensive back, corner. Uh, Lem Varney played with the Detroit Lions from 1967 to 1977. Hall of Famer. Um, he is 68 and doing great. In fact, Billy Sims, another a phenomenal running back for the Lions before Barry the Man Sanders. Billy Sims wore number 20. Only played five seasons due to a horrific knee injury in 1984. The guy had over 5,000 yards rushing easily. After like four and a half seasons. I think Billy Sims would be a Hall of Famer if it wasn't for that knee injury. Uh, sadly, forced to retire much too young. And then, of course, Barry the Man Sanders. We all know about him. 15,269 yards in 10 seasons from 1989 to 1998. Number 20, Detroit Lions. That number is legendary. All righty. With that said, I think it's time we set up our uh, this day in history oh we didn't even get to the uh, trivia question that nobody got right unfortunately our good friend michelle nix always chiming in gotta give her credit she tried which country contains lake assal the lowest point on mainland africa she guessed uh 
South Africa, it was a good guess. Sadly, it wasn't the right answer. The right answer, Djibouti. Not your booty, my booty. No, Djibouti, D-J-I-B-O-U-T-I. -I. Okay, Djibouti, the country that contains Lake Assal, the lowest point on mainland, south on mainland Africa. How about that? With that said, I think it's time we bring out today's song of the day. This one's a real treat, folks. Stumbled across it last night. Makes sense because this is how I feel every Friday after a long, hard work week. The song's called I'm Tired by the Bright Light Quartet, 1959. You're going to like this one. Perfect for Gospel Sunday. I love me some gospel. And I know you do, too. This will help wake you up, too. I'm tired as we show up. Birthday girl, Pink. Oh. Oh. She's not topless, folks. There's no nipples shown. Well, she's topless, but unless it's airbrushed out. Pink is 34 today, and she is gorgeous, and I do have nudies of her. If you want some, hit me up. Ooh, I can't show those. Ha -ha. Like I said, topless. Ooh. Sorry, the uh, recording quality is not the best on this here song. Damn it, something's running in the background. I don't know what it is. Computer's getting choppy. You know, every day I get the luck of a murder victim with electronic devices, okay? I think someday I'm going to need my own choreographer if I ever have my show famous. See, now my uh, cell phone's screwing up, too. That's not her. Come on, phone! Jeez, I'm trying to get the show done. Honestly, in 1998, Mike McGuire breaks Roger Maris' 62 um, home run record by hitting his 62nd home run of the season. He went on to hit 70 for the 1998 season. But, of course, we found out later the dude was cheating. So, as far as I'm concerned, Roger Maris still owns the home run single season record with 61 in 1961. As we look at Pink. Honest day in 1977, the day that my love goddess was born, Interpol sends a resolution concerning video piracy. Or was it piracy? Whatever, piracy. So, every time you watch a video, when you look at the end credits, it shows September 8, 1977. I'm like, see, the day my love goddess came around, they said, we gotta start copywriting shit. Why, I don't know. Honest day in 1975, Guinea-Bissau declares independence from Portugal. Happy Independence Day, the date that Lawrence Tate was born. Honest day in 1967, Uganda abolishes traditional tribal kin kingdoms and becomes a republic. Ooh, pink looks good there. Yeah. I do apologize for that recording quality. Uh, my, my camera and my... my Electronics are screwing up, let's face it, okay? Shit. Damn sunspots. As I mentioned, on this day, September 8, 1966, Star Trek premiered NBC Television, in case you were wondering what network. On this day in 1966 as well, That Girl starring, starring Marlo Thomas premiered on ABC. Well, I think uh, Star Trek was just a little bit more successful. On this day in 1965, Burt, Karen, Burt Campanaris of the Kansas City Athletics um, played all nine positions in the same game. Oh God, I wish I could see her. I wish I could see a picture of her from behind, see some booty crack, because we know she's got it showing. Ooh, I love that picture. That's a good one. On this day in 1952, Ernest Hemingway's *The Old Man and the Sea* is published. On this day in 1946, the San Francisco 49ers play their first ever All-American football um, conference game, and they lose to a football team that was called the New York Yankees, 21-7. Oh, what a terrible name for a football team. Good Lord. On this day in 1945, um, Hideki Toho, Tojo 
Japanese Prime Minister during most of World War II attempt suicide rather than facing war crimes at the War Crimes Tribunal. Well, the attempt fails. <laughs> Eventually, he was hanged. How about that? <laughs> well, hey, you can't kill yourself because we're going to have to kill you instead. I think that's funny. Oh, look at that outfit, huh? <whistles> wow. On this day in 1939, uh, Cleveland Indians pitcher Bob Fella, 20 years old, youngest pitcher to win 20 games in a season. That is incredible. I think that record still stands. That is amazing. Oh, so is that. Wow. Good Lord. On this day in 1930, the first appearance of the comic strip Blondie. Also on this day in 1930, uh, New York City public schools begin teaching Hebrew. How about that? Huge Jewish population in New York. That does make sense. And on this day, also in 1930, Richard Drew. You can love this guy. He created Scotch tape. How about that? He should have called it Drew tape. Why not? I mean, hell. On this day, 1921. This is a big one. The first ever Miss America pageant was crowned. Margaret Gorman of Washington, D.C., who she did live to be 90 years old. That's pretty cool. Um, on this day in 1920, U.S. Air Mail service begins from New York City to San Francisco, California. On this day in 1900, tragedy struck. 6,000 were killed. I think this is the um, still today the most um, the heaviest death toll from a hurricane in the United States. 6,000 people were killed when a hurricane tidal wave struck Galveston, Texas. You've heard about it. You know about it. Awful, awful, awful. Hey, America right here, baby. On this day in 1892, the first appearance of the Pledge of Allegiance occurred. Youth's Companion. How about that? On this day in 1883, Northern Pacific Railroad's last spike is driven at Independence Creek, Montana. On this day in 1771, Mission San Gabriel Archangel forms in California. Haha, <laughs> San Gabriel. How about that? On this day in 1565, big one, folks. The first ever permanent settlement in the United States forms. Where at? We know it. St. Augustine, Florida. And finally, on this day in 1553, the city of Litchfield, jolly old England, forms. Happy birthday, Litchfield, England. Empty as the brain cells of an Evan Jenkins fan. Folks, it's time for some football. Patriots, Bills, go Patriots, beat those Bills. The Bills are just from Southern, hey, Canada anyway, right? Yeah, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Um, folks, you know what time it is, right? That I'm right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make like a fetus to head out to everybody. Take care. I hope we get an awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink the my spray. Drink all of my case self or somebody else and drink it and drive it as dumb as being a Yanks fan. And what's dumber than that is root for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm a scared Tom Brady. Manning, or men slapping women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people that watch on bets, or fake friends, or anybody that supports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid. They definitely deserve a big fat G-F-Y. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Don't forget Patriots, New England Patriots, America's team. Like I said, Cowboys. <coughs> Squeeze me. That's how I feel about it. See y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Go Patriots.